here at Getting Gorgeous 2011 with Amy Tara Koch. She is an author, stylist, and journalist. And we are in the Bump It Up Lounge talking fashion, style, and everything in between. So Amy, tell me, when you're pregnant, sometimes you don't always want to look good you know, for yourself because you kind of feel a little bit down, you're gaining weight. What are ways that we can say it's schlubby. Yes, you do. <laughs> so what are some ways that we can still leave the house feeling good and showing off our fabulous belly? Well, in pregnancy, it's such a challenging time because you gain all this weight, you start kind of waddling, and the first thing you want to do is put on the fat clothes, the fat pants. We all know that yes. feeling. I say deny the urge, step up to the fashion plate, and how do you do that? By having the right basics that you're, you know, at the ready. Leggings, a tank top, the little black dress, a few things, and bumping it up, as it were, with accessories. I took the term, it's a fashion term, for just taking a basic and elevating it into something far greater. So it's adding that soup sound of glamour, and I show you how easy tips and tricks. Now, you have some stuff over here. Yes. Can you give us just a little... Yeah, absolutely. Well, like, this is Isabella Oliver. This is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, maternity brands. And the thing I love so much about it is that these are the basics that you can wear during pregnancy and after into that fourth trimester and even beyond. They have fashion longevity. So let's use this as an example. Simple black dress, one of my favorite ruched little tank dress. It looks like it's just totally plain, but the ruching on the side and the stretch fabric are genius because at first it's a dress, you get really bigger, it turns into a t-shirt, you wear it with leggings, and then after your pregnancy it's a dress again. All right, so let's build it up because the dress is like a canvas. Add a couple of beads. These are just kukui nuts from Hawaii. Okay, it's spring, is it not? Scarves are in. All right, scarves are always in for pregnant women because it makes you look longer and leaner. Which we want as a pregnant woman. Yes. Absolutely. And a lot of us don't have that faux glow, so this gives you color. So here, exactly, I love scarves. So you add this. I know I catch a lot of flack for heels, not for saying a pregnant woman should wear heels. Huge fan of the wedge. And I love Isabel Oliver because they say, wear a heel, get out of the prego jumps with a heel. And wedges are in for spring now, so. Oh, absolutely. They're much more comfortable. Too. Okay, so we've got this. Now we want to change. Let's say we want to change this look a little bit because we're going out for a night on the town. My book is all about multitasking. So here's the way to multitask. We're going to switch this out, take off that. These actually are, oops, I dropped one. Old Navy. They look like Chanel. Do they not? Yes, they did. Old Navy. Eight bucks. I'm, I'm like, fashion people love when they get a deal. So I love this. Right. It's a completely different look. Oh my gosh. Now we have some elegance and now we're going to add classic, a little scarf. But you know what? Actually, what I want to do is sequins. Oh, love. J'adore sequins. If it's you will see me in sequins. Do not be afraid of drama. Do not be afraid of glamour. And so here is another look with the same dress. Super elegant. I love it. I do too. So the book is really, and Isabella Oliver is just one of those brands where it's a little, it's, it's a little bit more expensive than some, but it's going to last your entire pregnancy and beyond. Yeah, and the fact that you can wear it after you're pregnant is what I love about it. Oh, me too. I mean, I would wear this. I would too. I would. Um, so. Isabella Oliver is a brand that I really love, and we have a lot of accessories here, but beauty is a very, very big part of my book. Yes. And no other pregnancy style book has ever addressed skincare issues and makeup. So I say the faux glow is an urban myth. What, I mean, the prego glow is an urban myth. It what is. It completely is. Yeah. I mean, I don't, no one ever said, oh, your skin looks so wonderful when you're pregnant. But, but then you feel awful because the, the myth is that it should. Right. And so to really, really look glamorous, um, it's a combination of great skin care and also using bronzer and shimmer. So Belly is a brand that I really like. If, can we walk over here? Yes, we can. Okay. So the thing I like about Belly is you have to change your skin care regime when you're pregnant. There's a lot of stuff that you, that pregnant women don't know, but you cannot use on your skin when you are pregnant. A woman was here earlier and she was still using Proactive. When she, she's pre she is pregnant. And you can't use things with a lot of certain vitamins, salicylic acid, kojic acid. Belly has a no cooties policy. There is nothing bad in here. It's been all dermatologically, you know, a dermatologist, OBGYNs all recommend it. And I pers personally love the acne cleansing wash. It has lactic acid. I love um, the, the zinc oxide. A combination of all of these give you that glow. 
that you're supposed to have, but nobody has, unless you're Halle Berry. Oh, nobody exactly. has one. Exactly. <laughs> so belly, awesome. belly, I really love. And I'll send you what? a sample. And um, over here is just accessories. I like to tell women how to look longer and leaner. And you always say never leave the house without accessories, right? Yeah, Coco Chanel famously said you should take off an accessory um, before leaving the house. I tell you, you should put one on. Yeah. Because as your belly is very large, you have to really balance that watermelon in your stomach with accessories. So you need this scarf. You need to have multiple, multiple necklaces. And okay, so I would, if you were in my house this morning, I would have said, but I love how these you must have like two cups and it should be different. I did. You don't want to be Wonder Woman. And went without, I know. No, it looks good. I love big cups. And the smaller Great. you are, the bigger the accessories have to be. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. That's a good tip. Absol I need to take Absolutely. note of that then. Absolutely. And um, something else that I really, really love is people think when you have a, when you become pregnant, you um, you have to get like a diaper bag that's not a regular bag. I'm a huge fan of getting a bag that fits all your snacks and all your stuff and makes you look smaller. So it's a big bag that doubles as a diaper bag. That's a great idea. And then what you do This is Pish Posh Mommy, who's another mom entrepreneur. These are all these little clutches that you put inside your bag to stay organized. So she has a, a yeah, great idea. Is this not so cute? And it's the, the fabric, I love the fabric and the design. Well, this is a new one. It's waterproof for baby swimsuits. Look at this. It's coming out in May. Oh, and it's lined inside. So totally lined it can inside. Be for so she does them in all these really great prints. So. As a style expert, I love I love supporting other mompreneurs, but I also like all these little accessories that help make a mom's life easier. And you have, and you've given us great tips on, you know, how to feel better being pregnant, which is essentially what we want to do. Absolutely. As we gain the weight. So thank you so much. Well, one of my tips that I also really love is don't think your inner radiance negates the need for doing your eyebrows and wearing bronzer. That's, <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> So always leave the house with that. Yeah, so the Bump It Ups, thank you for coming to the Bump It Up Style Lounge. Yeah, it's thank really you so fun. much, Amy. I appreciate it. Okay. Thanks so much for your style tips. No problem. And stay tuned for more LateNightParents.com.